Is, can you guys hear me if I do this, or should I do this more? Um, like, oh, I would keep it as close to your mouth as possible. Yeah. Mm, got you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I kiss it sometimes. Yeah. Give it a little. <laughs> A little beard rub. Mm-hmm. I put it in my ass. <laughs> no. Yep. Well, he puts that one. Damn. Yeah, that one goes in well, his good. ass, and that's why it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh like Josh likes to keep all the mics warm for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank He's you so like much. a mother hen <laughs> sitting on her eggs, <laughs> sitting on her eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god, I was we'll t- okay. We'll talk sorry. about that. Don't, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't spoil the story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw that. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to talk about that. <laughs> um, no, I wanted to talk about or recently Lauren uh, had a job interview. Mm-hmm. Um, and so uh, well, <laughs> so one of her references is the guy that she uh, worked under at college in college mm-hmm. for her dissertation. And so they call her reference and he goes, well, you know, Lauren does stand up. You know, I went to one of her stand up shows. <laughs> and um, I, so he went to one of her sketch shows, but he doesn't know that. He's an older guy. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't know the nuances between right. the different types yep. of right. comedy. And uh, I, they were, you were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> exactly. Well, on, this, on the phone with this guy interviewing me, he's like, so we heard you do stand up, so you're going to be entertaining everyone in the office, right? And I'm like, I think you'll you be doing your set <laughs> yeah. for all of us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Do you ever get that at work? Just people like, oh let's all hear a joke. Time. All the time. Literally yeah. this morning, they were like, you steal everything that we say, don't you? You just think we're so funny. You write everything we say down, and you say it on stage. I'm you like, joke thief. I'm like, you guys are giving yourself way too much credit. That's I would funny. never. That's my mom. Yeah. Every single thing. She goes, yeah. she goes, I know that's all you talk about is me. And I'm like, only half the time. Only half the time. <laughs> only now. I remember when I was coming to Chicago to do comedy, I had this aunt be like, you should just recreate every old SNL sketch and just do it as your own. <laughs> They're so funny. No one will ever know that someone else did it. I'm like, you don't get it. No one will like, ever know. Yeah. No one will ever know. That's hilarious. If I just come out with a cowbell and just fucking. Yeah, exactly. No, this was my own. I don't know what you're talking about. We need about. more deer bell yeah. in this song. Yeah. You yeah. Come out, like, it's Mr. Exactly. Robinson's neighborhood. They're yeah. like, you're not Eddie Murphy. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. That's a, such a horrible idea. It, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Imagine, like, like, on your, uh, like, during your interview, they, like, ask you, like, tell us one of your jokes. Yeah. That is just, like, setting you up for failure. Oh, definitely. In a job interview? Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Someone might be buzzing a little bit. (laughs) Is it me? I don't know. Are are you buzzing? You feeling buzzing? (laughs) You feel like you're buzzing? I don't really, I don't really... Oh, I hear oh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Bit. Just just everyone shut up. Phone. Everyone take your cord and just push it into yeah, your I mic a little bit, in. just to make sure. It very well could be nothing. It could just be our um, uh, the thing that we have our headphones plugged into. But it's okay. I'll be I able can to get filter it out. It could there. be a yeah. cicada yeah. brood. The cicadas Maybe are coming. it is. The cicadas cicaders. are coming. The cicadas. <laughs> <laughs> I love them cicadas, dude. No, I hate bugs with a passion. I'm Me so too. scared. I don't like June bugs. I don't know if we have June bugs much in Chicago. I never see them. But in Texas, around June, they all come out and they have these sticky legs. And every time mm-hmm. they walk on you, they feel like they're pulling on your skin. And they're, they, ugh, I hate them. I hate June bugs so much. Oh, they're very no. hard. They have a very hard shell, too. I get That's real funny. mad at them when I see them in July. Yeah. You're like, it ain't June. <laughs> yeah. Ain't your time anymore. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. But the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your time is up. My dad got real mad at my brother once yeah. because uh, my dad is like super like, you know, old school Christian man, you yeah. know, all this. And uh, and I'm kind of like this too because yeah. he's like big. I'm like, I love, love all of God's creatures. You know, he's kind of like Noah. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> yeah, my no, brother, <laughs> my brother saw a, uh, a June bug just walking on the porch. Yeah. And my brother was like, Hey boy. <laughs> and my and dad was like, Buster, <laughs> no. you don't do that. Wow. That innocent bug. <laughs> wow. How would you feel if someone came and yeah. 
squished you. He's kind of yeah. right. He's kind of yeah. right. He said, yeah, boy, you, t- you better prepare. A flood is a coming for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you I take lo- after your dad in that sense, I guess, because you love the pigeons. You love the raccoons. I do You like really them. like animals, yeah. even like the rascally. Do you like rats? I love rats. Yeah. Yeah. Not not like big old sewer rats or anything, but... If you saw someone <laughs> just squish a rat, would you I, be pretty pissed? Yeah, I would be enraged. Well, we got a rat here. Come on, Lauren, let's pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Squish the rat. <laughs> yeah, we, we shoot a rat on our podcast. Not in my house. <laughs> I live with people that like love spiders. They're like, oh, uh, just leave it. And I'll just be like, I'm going to kill it. And they'll be like, okay, we'll take it out. Uh, you know? I just threatened to kill it, and they'll be like, okay, let's go. I couldn't have a spider and just know that I there's know, a spider I in know. the place. Uh, oh, there's tons of spiders here. Uh, I don't well, like thanks. you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for letting me know. I don't like you. The right lion keeps letting them in. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. hatch them. Yeah. They yeah. I got a hatchery up in the ceiling. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hatchery. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> those, are my, those are my hen eggs. All right. <laughs> you went one too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like spiders. They keep other bugs away. Yeah. That's what yeah. they say. They're yeah. not. Uh, frankly, I never kill them or get them, get them out of my place. I see them not all the time, but I do see spiders. Yeah. Don't see a lot of other bugs. Yeah. Except fruit flies in the summer. And that's Conspiracy really about theories. It. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> you that's can't, not one of them. You can't see them, but they're there. Have you heard that thing where you like, you swallow 10 spiders at night, every night? Oh my God. I hate that. It's so stupid. It's, no, it's I think bullshit. it's like you've, you eventually like, in your lifetime, you'll eat like three spiders or something like that. That's crazy. I don't believe it. Well, I think they're just making that up to scare three. me. If they're going into your mouth at night, are they also going into your other holes? Yes. Absolutely. That's why my asshole's You're- so fucking itchy, and I have to <laughs> shove these microphones up my ass to scratch it. <laughs> That's amazing. I do feel like even uh, if you tell like coworkers like oh I do improv like I do improv and sketch they all think stand they all yeah. immediately think it's stand up yeah yeah always are you gonna put that in your set I'm like I don't have a set dumbass no. yeah. <laughs> as a stand up comedian I'm so insulted I know <laughs> I'm like I'm like I hardly have a joke in my act mm-hmm. I, I hardly have say, an act I will say I get away with saying a lot of ridiculous shit at work oh yeah I feel like because I probably do too. because they're like well, you're a comedian. Yeah. Mm. You like, you don't mean it. And I'm like, well, ha, ha. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Wow. I feel like. But yeah. also I'm not serious. You yeah. know, like if well, I was calling you a dumb bitch to your face, yeah. I'm joking. Like I would never do that to your face. You dumb bitch. You you dumb bitch. <laughs> I'd never do that dumb to you. You fucking cunt. dumb ass bitch. <laughs> 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 oh man well uh we should get started here in that yeah. case welcome to working crafts podcast this is lauren hello and i'm joshua and we are here on the final uh month of mayhem episode mayhem, mayhem. that's right we have a brand new guest <laughs> every single epi- episode in the month of may and uh this week is no exception it is our final month of mayhem episode and we are very happy to uh bring to the table here sue's ball out the comedian oh. the stand up comedian the that we legend. love so much the legend <laughs> the life the Thank legend you. yes Thank you. the champion i'm like immediately giving me too much credit <laughs> <laughs> the comedy gladiator <laughs> <laughs> the fucking bitch oh yeah 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 that's what i can get behind uh, thank you thank you <laughs> we have sitting at the table this bitch yeah. <laughs> okay i'm done i'm done no, I love slayer it. of spiders <laughs> <laughs> and of course uh uh joined as always by fan favorite uh resident really? guest byron <laughs> yes you are a fan favorite people love byron Really? Wow. Byron brings. <laughs> <laughs> wow. no, I so think nice. Byron brings a crucial wild card element to the. Where else are you going to get my hatchery upstairs? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Yeah. <laughs> Who else is going to come yeah. up with gems like my <laughs> spider hatchery? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> now, uh, do you think Month of Mayhem went well? We had uh, several guests. Yeah. Saku Yanagawa was one of our <gasps> guests last week. Yeah. It was a good time. Uh, we had um, our friend Mike, who did Dr. Fix Me. Um, and we had one of our friends from back uh, home in Texas, Sean, as well. And we also had Nick. I think this one's going to blow them all out of the water. The other ones, let's be honest, they sucked. 
What? Yeah, especially <laughs> when, especially they Michael also. Kim Lewis. Aww. The one with Nick was good. The one with Michael <laughs> Kim Lewis was bad, dude. <laughs> Nick and Michael were on the same episode, just really? for those of you who are listening. I can imagine really? Michael's reaction right now. He'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, well, I'm not going to talk to you guys for a year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of like, it's my thing. It's like you, how you can call him a... What? Dumbass bitch. Yeah. Um, I can give Michael Kim Lewis a lot of shit. Yeah. Every time you and talk to him. He gives to me a lot of shit too. And I buy tickets Aww. to his fucking show. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Every time you talk to Michael, though, you always start like as antagonistic as possible. Yeah, you, you, you get, get the very fuck aggressive. out of my house. But you did the same with Sue. She just walked in and you said, Don't touch my broomstick. Yeah, I, I broke his broomstick once. <laughs> I didn't know my powers. <laughs> That was the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Because you have to know, he prided himself on this, yeah, dude, on this, on this stick. He he used it as like a what a quarter staff? Is that what you call it? I'm so That's right. sorry. And he and he so spun it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so funny. It is really funny. <laughs> it's the it funniest is the really funniest thing funny. in the world oh because he loves to spin it around and like show off. And it was really funny. And you're the first person to ever come in and go, eh, <laughs> just fucking break it. <laughs> It was the funniest like, thing I think is, I've ever seen. This stick doesn't break. And I went like, oh, shit, and I like broke it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like, you want to fucking bet it doesn't break? <laughs> you sure about that? I love a challenge. Uh, and it was yeah, a beautiful it, challenge. It was, it was very the funny. It was yeah, very this funny. bad boy's unbreakable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On your knee. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just crushes it with yeah. one hand. <laughs> I had a band director in school once during a band my friend dustin he made this paper airplane he was so proud of this paper airplane mm -hmm. he spent all day uh, was it one of the up. round ones no it was just he <laughs> he like measured out the dimensions and tried to make it as perfect as possible so it would glide really far he was so proud and he throws it and it glides really really far it's very impressive it lands on the floor next to my band director and he just looks down on it and stomps on yeah. it <laughs> and, he, and my friend just goes no <gasps> <laughs> he had worked all day. I mean, it's a stupid thing to work all day yeah. <laughs> on just a paper airplane. Yeah. I but, think all band directors are certified assholes. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's why I went to school to become one hey. and then didn't become one. <laughs> <laughs> you are kind of an asshole. That's true. That is true. Well, he likes to do things with his asshole. Oh, hey. yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm a bit of an ass expert, you could say, but I've had a lot of anal training, so. <laughs> <laughs> that asshole has been certified. <laughs> Stop. College was rough. <laughs> really stretched me out. It stretched me thin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway those were the days <laughs> those were the days taking dick after dick what, in the ass. what instrument did you play i played saxophone i played saxophone oh, nice. for 20 years now i think yeah oh hell yeah yeah and the last time i played it it went honk it like sucked <laughs> <laughs> My honk. boyfriend just yeah. brought back his saxophone from his mom's house. And oh, yeah. He played it and I was like, that's so, so hot. So good, baby. Wow. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. That's the wow. thing about those woodwind instruments is like, <laughs> The reed has to be perfect. The mouthpiece yeah. has to be perfect. And if none of it's perfect, you can't get a good sound out yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. He, so. plays, he played hot cross buns. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just like, no. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I brought mine out at the, when we played the Cubby Bear. And it was, um, yeah, and it was not great. But they before, gotta have some sort of device that uh, you can put on it to keep it moist. Yeah, like a, just a portal, portable tongue. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Or we could just hire someone like a fl like a saxophone fluffer to like mm -hmm. kind of, <laughs> you know, lick it the whole time. Uh, Lauren? Yeah, I will Lauren? gladly be the sax fluffer. Because yeah. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to be part of the band, but I have no musicality whatsoever. And so I've... But your I've been, hey, but your tongue has so much musicality. <laughs> it, it, it has excellent uh, reed soaking abilities. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Hear me out. You take a towel. You put yeah. some water on it, get it drenched, mm -hmm. put it in a microwave for like 30 seconds, mm -hmm. and then wrap that around the reed. And then whenever it's time to play, you take it off and... 
why are you trying to take away Lauren's job like so fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just said Lauren would do a great job. Like, you go, hey, hear me out. A towel <laughs> could do it. Wow. Hey, how about a towel instead? <laughs> yeah. He's I, gonna well, replace me with a towel. <laughs> I'm like, hey, my wife could jerk me off. And you're like, yeah, your hand could do get it. Get a too. towel. <laughs> Get a towel, brother. <laughs> What's a go towel, dude? But I will say, you can't do it around the mouthpiece, too. It's got to be just the reed, because the mouthpiece doesn't need to be soaking wet. The, the reed needs to be. But it's okay if and it's then, wet. Yeah, I guess. The, the, <laughs> it's fine. But you don't want it to drip down the actual saxophone part, or else it, it, you can't or get else that what? wet. Or else the lacquer will start to mold. Everything about you, the keys will start to stick. I don't want to get into the technicality of saxophones here. No, that's why people tune okay, into the show. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, the saxophone was invented by Adolf Sax, okay? <laughs> no! <laughs> that is true. That's his name. His name was Adolf? Adolf is, Sachs. He was, so well, he anytime, invented it pre, pre, yeah, when, he pre, was a pre Adolf, Adolf becoming a, a, a bad name. This, yeah. yeah, this wow. was pre-Hitler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> um, no, anytime in uh, saxophone school, in, in the studio, anytime anybody was being a hard ass, we'd be like, all right, Adolf Sachs. Because <laughs> 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 it works on two levels. So <laughs> That's I'm going to start using that. <laughs> He's like, so all sorry. right, Adolf Sachs. <laughs> all right, Adolf Sachs. <laughs> <laughs> be like, where's that from? Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up, you dumb saxophonist. <laughs> um, well, we got a couple stories that we can pull up here and joke and laugh about. So story time. Story time. I can't wait for story time. The first one, Suze, you seem very uh, excited about, yeah, and we are 100%. too. Dublin video portal to New York <laughs> shuts temporarily due to unruly behavior. So uh, there were these portals in New York, Dublin, and a few other countries too, but they had video screens and you were basically video conferencing in some kind of downtown square in all of these countries. So um, uh, they called it live stream artwork with a 2.5 meter wide screen allowed people in both cities to see but not hear each other, leading to offensive conduct. Now, why did they have to shut them down though? Because when they installed these, wasn't the first conversation like, what are we going to do when people start, you know, jerking themselves off in front of this thing? Like, isn't right. that the first it's thought? It's art. Yeah. It's art, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I would think that Ireland and New York are places where unruly behavior is just the culture. Right. Uh, yeah. It's not really a portal into that country unless you see some unruly <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a penis today. You're telling me you can't see a penis? Who? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a guy peeing outside. I was talking oh, to Lauren no. about yeah, this. Yeah, he told me. A guy peeing outside my in the alleyway, and I saw his dong. Wow. Yeah, and, and his scared? kid was there. <gasps> and I was like, dude, what? Are you, uh, and I just kind of ignored it and kept walking right towards him. The dong had a kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn. His name was Wong. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways, I, well, I just think if it's an art thing, like yeah. the point of it is you're kind of getting a glimpse into another city. And so if you go visit New York City, whatever unruly thing happened on the video also would happen there in New York City. So you're getting an accurate representation. And if There's it's no illegal, that's true. if it's illegal, then arrest ar the person right. and get that on the portal, too. Exactly. They would, they were like people in Dublin were showing videos of 9 11 happening. Hilarious. I thought yeah, that was that so funny. funny. I laughed and I saw yeah. a TikTok of it. I was like, that yeah. is so funny. That's Absolutely. a good troll. That's you should just good, eat a like, bunch of potatoes <laughs> exactly. and eat a bunch of potatoes on the screen and be like, you guys don't have these. But like, you didn't think that people were going <laughs> to do that, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. That's my first thought is like, all right, who's going to show Dong? Who's going to like. <laughs> Yeah. pull their balls out into a bat flap and show it on camera. But is like, that why they canceled it? I don't someone... think it was Dong. Oh, okay. No, um, I know Wong. that... Wong. Yeah, no, it wasn't his son Wong either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love um, this part of the ar article. Dublin City Council had hoped to have a solution in place today, but unfortunately the preferred solution, which would have been involved blurring, was not satisfactory. Oh, yeah. So someone was like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, you can't live blur something on like a yeah. live stream. You'd have to have somebody ready to go and watching it all day long. To go, Quick, blur, blur, blur. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But it was, I know, and we'll go through the article here, but from what I heard, the New York side of it, the Dublin side was they were holding up videos of 9-11 happening, mm -hmm. which again, hilarious. That's, yeah. that's the, as funny as it gets. They're like, oh, this goes to New York. <laughs> also, right. it's remember this. <laughs> right. Well, also, like America's such a joke right now. Like mm -hmm. we just kick us. Right. 
while we're down. Exactly. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Like, what? Yeah. Okay, that's funny. Uh, but I mean, my thing is like. Like, they weren't showing the... Okay, I'm, I'm putting it together. <laughs> they, it's not like this was 24 hours straight of people showing 9-11 on their phones. No, it was a moment. Probably, yeah. like, 0.001% of, of the, the total time. time that this yeah. thing was up were mm -hmm. people doing offensive things like that. Right. And right, is right, it right. worth it to shut the whole fucking thing down because someone does something you might, on the other side, might find offensive? Isn't this supposed to kind of, like... Isn't this supposed to fucking like bring people together, dude? <laughs> okay, calm down. Let's I'm like serious about it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, calm down. You're gonna start a fire in the hatchery. <laughs> um, Not my hatchery. Okay, but the people of New York, I think they can handle a picture of the twin towers burning because yeah. they handled the actual twin towers burning. No, exactly. So exactly, a picture of it is not a big deal. And then on the New York side, apparently it was an OnlyFans girl showed her tits uh, to the people in uh, Dublin and that's why they shut it down as well. But it's like I don't really think that's that big of a deal though. It's just tits. Yeah. Yeah but in Ireland I it's hard kids. to find a good set of tits and so it was just like <laughs> everybody's minds were blown and it was yeah. just caused <laughs> chaos. <laughs> oh those were incredible tits. I can't do an Irish. I was oh, yeah. Scottish. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah I'm Scottish thinking about one. having to try some with those tits. <laughs> okay I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Were there like a crazy amount of kids around? Like that's the only thing I could think that's of. That's the only like arrest that the might be. arrest the lady. Yeah, exactly. If 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 there's a bunch of kids around, well, exposing yourself uh, around like children is a crime already. So therefore, mm -hmm. I guess we know who hates women on this table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought that was pretty clear. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you loved women, you'd let them show their tits to those babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it is crazy. Hey, like, kids love tits. <laughs> well, it's also like I'm aware I'm I'm aware that like I don't think a girl a woman yeah. showing her titties and like some kids seeing it is gonna scar them for life. Right. No. But no. like it is still illegal for a reason. Right. It's but you don't like, have to shut down the Yeah, like, you don't have to shut down the portal. That's if if that's memory. illegal, someone's, mm -hmm. uh, someone is committing a crime, then... The, that's part you, of the art exhibit. Right. Exactly. Right. Tits. That's why it's actually shaped as a circle, so it will fit a tit directly in the center. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, authorities in Dublin are uh, to temporarily shut down the live video portal with New York because of unruly behavior. City Council said in a statement Tuesday it would switch off the interactive webcam at 10 p.m. Irish time while technicians try to tweak or censor a project that has brought delight and notoriety. They're going to tweak their cocks once they get that picture of that, <laughs> those tits. Oh, like, hey, we got to shut this down at 10 o'clock. I got some work to do. I got some tweaking I got to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Lotion just... <laughs> Uh, the team Reload! <laughs> <laughs> the team behind the portal art sculpture has been investigating possible technical solutions to inappropriate behavior by a small minority of people. Exactly. Um, uh, Byron's like, exactly. These were minorities oh, doing dude, this I crime. Knew, <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. That's not at all what I said. <laughs> exactly. I knew they were minorities. Yeah. Of course this would be the case. Why don't they arrest them? <laughs> Bring them to my hatchery. <laughs> I can't get over hatchery. That's my new favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, the portals.org team was investigating other options, um, said the council. As a result, the portal will be switched off at 10 p.m. tonight, and the team uh, at portals.org have told us they expect it will be switched back on later this week. So it's really not news. They're going to turn it back on. They're not shutting it off permanently. Some people on the Irish side have thrown eggs, flashed body parts, and displayed images of swastikas and the Twin Towers burning <laughs> on 9-11. Okay, so th some things a little worse than the Twin Towers, I guess. The swastikas. Yeah. But again, the people of New York can handle a swastika. They've seen a swastika painted on the side of a building at some point in time. It's just a little trolling. Yeah. No, for real. Go to like any fucking dive bar bathroom. You'll see a swastika. That is true. They Especially are. the ones I go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, into, go into any stall after me. You'll see a swastika. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't say that out loud. People are going to believe it. I know. <laughs> well, believe yeah, it. people already believe. Hey, Some as a general rule. About me. <laughs> as a general rule, don't believe anything you hear on Working Grass <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, they prompted the New York Post to dub it the portal to hell. Oh, damn. <laughs> Jesus. So um, dramatic. It was designed by Lithuanian artist Benedictus Gillis. Gillis? Gillis? 
Yeah, it's cool. probably guyless. Maybe. Both. I don't know. Those are your people. You should know how to. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, um, it's important to note that the overwhelming majority of people interacting with the Dublin portal have behaved appropriately. Exactly. The majority of people have. Mm-hmm. Why don't they talk about the lady who showed her tits? God damn it. It's not even in the article. Ugh. There was a lady, and I swear to God, and this isn't fake news. I'm not making this up. There was a lady on, uh, in New York that flashed her tits, and that was one of the reasons they shut it down. And then she had her boyfriend go ask them, why are you shutting it down? And they're like, well, some lady earlier showed her tits, and yeah. they, they recorded it so that that way she knew it was And the Guardian her. has the nerve to write an article without producing a picture of those sweet, sweet titties. Yeah, so who Damn really it. hates women here? <laughs> the Guardian. The Guardian. The Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> we want to oh. see tits. We want to see tits. <laughs> oh man not even a weekend and Dubliners have truly embarrassed us around the world Amy Donahue uh, lamented in an Irish independent column Damn. anyone who goes and stands in front of the portal is representing our little country but if we're showing off a drunken culture and being offensive we're being honest <laughs> exactly yeah. exactly yeah. that's what I expect when I go oh this is showing me Ireland I expect drunken people being offensive oh I'm sorry was this supposed to promote like tourism I guess because she's like people may not want to come here if that if this is what they're seeing i'm like uh, <laughs> um burning twin towers swastika and drunken <laughs> behavior i'm give me a flight ticket because i'm on my way <laughs> I'm on first class <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> That's ridiculous um it could potentially affect tourism uh people may not want to come here that's crazy that's I, crazy i'm like that is ireland that's my and that's my assumption of what ireland is i don't want to you know put them all in a stereotype but but we will. But we will. We will for the sake of a segment. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I mean, every television show about Ireland is drunken, offensive people, right? Yeah. I mean, I think of Leap Year. Yeah. Oh, when that she like familiar. goes to like at Amy. Amy, Amy Adams. Mc, Amy Adams. I yeah. thought it was like McAdams for some reason. Yeah. That's Amy Rachel. Adams, like, oh, Rachel McAdams. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. And uh, she knows goes his like, is. <laughs> there's like an Irish tradition where you go and you propose to your husband on leap year. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Because she was like, why are you proposing yet? Let's go. go to Ireland. And when they went to Ireland, were there a bunch of drunken people? Was there any drunken behavior? Yeah. Shame. What a shame. Yeah. you're No, because she like goes to a bar. She like ends up being at a how bar dare. and then she like falls in love with the bartender. How, how, how fucking how, how dare, dare she? How dare they? How dare they? Everyone knows there's People no... People are going to want to travel to Ireland Yeah, now. exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's no bars in Ireland, actually. I don't know if you guys know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't even drink in Ireland. Yeah. Guinness is just a figment of your imagination. It doesn't <laughs> exist. It's not real. <laughs> oh, well... Um, let's move on to the Boo. next story. Oh my God. Is Anybody it... else have anything else to say about this portal? No, it, I just saw the next tab. The, where should the next two oh, yeah, portals yeah. be set you up? You just saw the words student masturbates. <laughs> student masturbates. <laughs> we'll move on to student masturbates oh, in a moment. What, what did you say? I said, where should the next two portals be set up? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I, I think <laughs> Israel, what if, Palestine. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would not be a good oh idea. My God, <laughs> I know it's, it's literally like the most offensive thing I can think of. That's like, what's that's funny. funny, dude. <laughs> that's funny because that was my first thought, and I said, "No, no, scratch that." <laughs> <laughs> and I was you're like China. Yeah. yeah, we put one in yeah. China and one in the spider hatchery. Oh, oh nice, very no, nice. Yeah. No, I'll train them. <laughs> <laughs> no, th- I'll no. trade them on the ways of the spider. <laughs> we uh, we could just do one in like California or Florida, and it goes to North Korea. But it's a studio in North Korea. It's like a movie studio where they fake what their country is like, because that's exactly what <laughs> that's it would be. Funny. That would be pretty. It funny. would be like a fake. They wouldn't allow it in their real city square. No, it, it would be, be just a hologram right. the entire yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. It would be a movie studio. Yeah. They go look at how much food we have here. <laughs> yeah. It, yes. <laughs> And then people would just be showing them like screenshots of how they, you know, can't Google certain events in North Korea (laughs) (laughs) of them like Googling events that they can't uh, learn about. Oh, my God. That'd be great. Well, Hilarious. this Lithuanian artist should get in touch with Working Cross Podcast because we got ideas. Oh, yeah. We got a yeah, lot of ideas. Literally. 
Yeah. How about this? How about a portal from my dick to your ass? <laughs> oh, my God. So fucking stupid. <laughs> a portal to Josh's butthole. It's, it's just like, need. it's just a yeah. blank screen. It's just a black screen. You're going to need to make that portal a little bigger than the last one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're going to need a light. <laughs> oh, my God. It gets dark in there. <laughs> So it has been too. You need mining helmets. Yeah. Oh my. Don't forget your pickaxe. <laughs> Gross. Uh, um, well, you know, uh, three of us here at the table were former teachers. Yeah. And um, yeah. and this next story is about I'm students. Uh, uh, and so I just want to, you know, clarify before we start talking about this, that we're speaking from the experience of former teachers. Now, we're not current teachers because that would be stupid. Anyone who's a teacher now is a fucking idiot. <laughs> you, yeah, you go to the. I'm, te- not, I'm feeling not left out right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, go to the teacher subreddit. Every single every single person is like, "Should I quit?" And everyone's like, "Yeah." <laughs> like, what are you doing? Everyone's Aww. underpaid. Like all of the all of the districts are just like overrun by like dumbasses that don't know how children like work or think or learn at all. And it's what like a nerd from the teacher subreddit. I'm a freaking nerd. Yeah, you're not even a teacher anymore. Hmm, that's funny. Because <laughs> uh, because I found this excellent story on the teacher subreddit, and that is student masturbated during my class. No. Hello, everyone. First time poster and first year teacher here. First year teacher, just keep that in oh, mind, because the first year is the hardest. When you teach young kids, they always tell oh, you the, the first di- the year. Dick, the dick in that situation definitely was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first year is tough, and um, I will say, whenever I started teaching elementary school, school they always said for the whole first year do not show any emotions that's what they told me at my school that's they're like so sad that is a weakness and the students will smell it and then they will never respect you you cannot show any emotions your first oh, year no. they treat your students like they treat grizzly bears when you go camping hey like, as someone who taught there for three years fear. <laughs> they were right they can smell <laughs> your fear especially those young like like fourth grade fifth grade it was the, and i had like the bad behavior students like i had a rough fucking school so i tried to teach like 10 year olds yeah improv once and they were like can Uh we go back to doing math and i was like fuck you (laughs) and you and you and you hey sounds like they were pretty good at improv (laughs) it was terrible i wanted to cry i was like sweating yeah it's it's i sweat so much (laughs) um uh, hello hello everyone first time poster and first year teacher here i want to begin by thanking everyone on this sub for sharing their experiences they help with the everyday grind buckle up this is a windy story and i apologize Apologize for grammar mistakes. English is not my first language. This takes place on a secondary school, and the student mentioned is 15 to 16 years old. As the title says, two weeks ago, a male student masturbated during my teaching period. Well, what were you teaching about? Something hot? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The student has has been a problem since the beginning. He refuses to write and does not bring his books or notes, which resulted in him flunking two of his test papers. He also uh, he also has a girlfriend and another class I teach, and he's been he has made sexist (laughs) comments often. Um, Wow. I'm sorry. He says the the quote of him is says, uh, "I think women shouldn't play team sports." Is what the kid <laughs> says. Okay, <laughs> man, this guy's just but flunking on and individual spunking. Individual competition, he's okay with. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Look, a kid like when I was in school, kids masturbated in class. It happened. You never? What? You guys never? Uh, well, I've told the story about uh, <laughs> a, a girl when I was in elementary school. Yeah. Masturbating in class. Yeah. Yeah. We had I didn't girl, really know what it was. We had I didn't a girl know girls stand on that. a table and have her period on the table. Like, oh. stood up, crouched down, and, like, did it. This is in Texas? Yeah. Yeah. There's kids jerking off. I went to There's school k- up north, y'all. I don't know yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's a wild <laughs> west out here down Damn. south. Damn. I, yeah. I... If that was happening, I must have been very oblivious to it. I jerked another I kid off. I don't in have. Class. Re- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! I oh made god. sure it was happening in my class. 
No, no. When I was in school, not as a teacher. <laughs> I just want to clarify. You're like reading this. You're like, okay, seems like a good class. <laughs> I'm like, only one kid masturbated. Sounds mm-hmm. good. It sounds... <laughs> um, I think you, you were... need to bump those numbers up. You were saying you were oblivious to it. Yeah, I don't. If it did happen, I didn't know about it. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of like a goody two shoes. So I don't think people really like told me. Yeah anything (laughs) one of my friends um told us i'm not gonna name him but he told us that he jerked off in the uh bathroom during one of the breaks in like the tax test yeah which is like a standardized texas test yeah and we gave him shit forever for it yeah it was like well he's trying to relax the test is stressful (laughs) he was like super like very very smart did very well in school was like in the top 10 of our class. People tell you, like, uh, athletes, like, have sex before games, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like... yeah. <laughs> I've heard different, actually. Yeah. No, they, I've, I've heard that they do that, yeah. especially women, but I don't think they should play team sports. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, women should have sex before? Or... I think anyone should have uh, yeah. I think. I don't know. I think well, you drain well, yourself. Russell, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson, like, famously didn't have sex before games. Really? Who's and Russell Wilson? Like, I'm sorry. He's I'm... the quarterback for Seahawks. Oh, okay. I don't know why I know this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's um, okay. This is our first sports talk on Working Craft Podcast because a lot of us know it. And people were like, fuck before a game. What are you doing, dude? Like, <laughs> we're losing. <laughs> wow. I feel like it would I've make heard, you a little lazy. I've heard. Uh, I don't know. Like, it. Uh, like if I have sex, I'm not like, like itching to like fucking prove myself as a man i think it clears your mind right away i don't know about that i I think you i think you masturbate your mind is clear you're not focused on sex you're focused on the game we're not talking about masturbating we're talking about well sex sex, it's the same thing it's you're you're coming coming's coming and that's the name of this episode (laughs) 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 okay but okay well would you like masturbate before like some huge sport event do you think that's a good idea yes see i just masturbate before dates too what? Always masturbate before a date. <laughs> Always. And during Always. and after. Yeah, absolutely. Well, during I get. It helps yeah. men <laughs> not rape. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. And, yeah, I know. <laughs> and we, yeah, I was going to say. And we all know who needs that advice. <laughs> I started this rumor that 80% of men can't read. <laughs> yeah. And I want to continue the <laughs> rumor on this podcast. 80% of men can't read, everyone. Okay. I just want to start that <laughs> right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have books. Yeah, <laughs> you have books. But can no. for their aesthetic value. <laughs> yeah. They take a long time for me to read. I will admit. There we go. <laughs> I'm a slow reader. Exhibit A. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. During the class. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's okay. I had something else I was going to say. <gasps> no, sorry. Oh, because uh, no, in school this kind of thing happened all the time. In, in my mm. history class, in my pre-AP history class. So these are the smart kids. These are supposed to be the responsible kids. And I've told this story in the podcast before. I think this uh, this girl in my history class goes, "You ever seen a pussy before?" This is like my freshman year. <laughs> this is as intense as your facial expression is <laughs> when I said this. I was like, I was like, no, I hadn't at that point. She goes, check it out, and like pulls her shorts to the side. She was not like she was, should not have been doing that. But that was the first vagina I ever saw in person. <laughs> it was in my history pre AP class. Oh my god! I had I had classes with people like this all the time. I don't. I, I think high school those puberty years are sex obsessed like teenagers. That's yeah. that's all that's on their mind. Your hormones are going crazy and you do stupid things. All of my friends jerked off around each other. This was like a very common thing. Yeah, I had friends that jerked off in my shoes. I told that story on a previous you, episode. I pretty recently, told that story. Yeah, we had like a a fucking. Um, my friend group had like a, a a thong alert kind of system. Oh yeah, where it'd be like Susie's wearing a thong. Oh my, check god. it out in math. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. Dude, uh, but like that, when you're, also, that happens yeah. all the time. Yeah. Do you guys think that like if you guys had like proper sexual education, this stuff wouldn't have happened as much? I did have proper sexual. Yeah, education. I did too. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> what it, what what constitutes? They they told us exactly what sex was. They taught us oh, about okay. safe sex. They answered okay. all of our questions. We watched oh, okay. the videos. Yeah. Okay. I don't know We're anyone. Just horny dudes. I actually. Horny boys. I'll be honest. I don't know anyone in Texas who didn't have sexual. I I yeah. hear it all the time yeah. about oh the South doesn't have sex education. 
education. I don't know anyone yeah. who didn't have sex right. education. Right. Okay. It was part of health class every single like we always did sex education. Yeah. But it made us all horny, so then we all started <laughs> fucking each other. Horny. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like for us, with like I think the biggest mistake that they made, they were like, "Well, you know what's like a hundred percent effective that you don't get all these things like abstinence." abstinence. We and had they, some of that. Yeah. And well, so it's just kind of like, well, you're going to stop people right. from... But, yeah, but like, it, it's not like telling <laughs> kids how to like... I mean, of course, you don't want to think about like kids fucking and stuff. The problem... Uh, totally. The problem young. is, is when you give that as the only option is like, hey, yeah, uh, you sure. could get STDs. You could, uh, um, uh, you know, here's all the dangers of sex and how you avoid them is don't mm. have sex. Yeah. What you need to do is also say, you could also use condoms mm-hmm. or, you know, pull out or, you know, yeah. come on her chest or, you know... <laughs> Or maybe just do anal if you don't want to get her pregnant. Or if she's on top, she can't get pregnant because it <laughs> kind of falls down. Like all of the all of the common That's science, the all the science. Yeah, all the if science. If it's your first yeah. time, it doesn't. You can't get pregnant. <laughs> exactly. Um. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. At, at my school, they did. They talked about condoms and yeah. like yeah. safe sex, and so I. I'm, but they did have speakers. So sometimes they would have a speaker come from a local church, mm. and they would give us this kind of like. You know, by the way, you could always be abstinent because that's the only way to actually guarantee that none of these things are happening to you. They weren't Jewish. I don't know why I'm giving them a Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was more like I'll never the because half the school got really mad about this guy because he came in and he talked about he compared women to pigs. And he was like he was like. If you think about it like a farmer, like you don't want to go out there and fuck your pig because now the pig's been fucked. You don't want a fucked pig. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. like that's how he talked about like women and virginity. Yeah, <laughs> it was that crazy. makes sense. Yeah, Byron's like it makes sense. Yeah. Hey, check it out. We should teach that in every school. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was in the seventh grade and like someone had sent a nude and this dude just like shared it um. around the school and and this cop came and was like. So if you share like pictures of someone, that's child pornography. Yeah. And also if you download stuff on LimeWire, you're gonna go to jail. Yeah. Like that's like <laughs> yeah, that's gonna <laughs> happen. Trajectory. We were like, what fuck? We're gonna go to jail for I downloaded so many songs. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you have downloaded so many pictures of kids. <laughs> no. Oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> delete, 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 delete. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but all I'm saying is, kids around this age, they're very, th- their hormones are going crazy. Yeah. This stuff happens in schools. I think it's more common than people think it is. Mm-hmm. Is the sex for those kids that age is just common? They they are constantly jerking off and. Well, it's like a new thing. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you start getting boners and you're like, well, what is this thing? Yeah. Are you justifying this kid jerking off in class? No, no, we're no, not no, 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 no. <laughs> but I also don't want it. I don't want it to seem like, because for non-teachers, this can also kind of sound like, wow, this is the worst thing in the world to ever happen to anyone. Yeah. And I'm telling you, so many teachers have had this. This is a kid common, should go to jail oh, and be yes. internally demonized right 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 yeah. it's not right the kid it's needs not to, right the kid yeah. shouldn't be jerking off in your class totally. and as right. a teacher you shouldn't have to sit there and teach kids who are jerking off to you well right. i also think i'm like what's going on in his personal life you right. know like what totally. is it like right and it's like and, kid. and you have this sort of this is very antisocial behavior mm-hmm. and then you're gonna punish him with things that are gonna be even more antisocial the, like yeah, right. like so outside true. school like he's yeah. suspended that's yeah. even more antisocial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he might like being antisocial. Right, and the, that is very bad because then right. he's going to just continually do all these antisocial things. The last thing you want to tell the kid jerking off in class is go sit in the chair in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes great a better spot like, sweet <laughs> oh my god wait so you're saying i'm suspended from school so i can just stay home <laughs> uh during the class when it happened i transferred him to the back of the classroom <laughs> this is so oh stupid. My god. that's the last thing that you do hey let's no. give you some let's give you a little privacy 
um, to the third row so he could work with a classmate because I wanted the students to discuss something in their workbook. Um, okay, okay. I guess she transferred him to the back before he started jerking off, not after. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not see anything, just him and his neighbor grinning. But as they are friends, I assume they were just chatting. Mr. Loves himself did not take any notes uh, again, but I didn't assume any foul play. The next day, two colleagues who also teach in this class told me that his classmates reported him to the class teacher and that she was in contact with the principal and the social worker to sort this out. Damn. I felt physically ill, but not surprised that this boy would do something like this. The class is troubled overall with students who routinely swear, disregard rules, destroy school po- property, and are suspected to deal drugs. He was suspended for the week. I mean, this is kind of like my school, to be honest, the school I taught at. I, they, the students routinely sw- swore, disregarded rules, destroyed school property. It was mm-hmm. very common. Was there ever an episode of Degrassi where they had a kid <laughs> masturbating in class episode? And they're like, I can't believe you masturbated. <laughs> <laughs> so overdramatic. <laughs> Bobby. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, Bobby's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he masturbated in the back of the class and died. <laughs> it was great. My the life whole time. is over. <laughs> Did you ever hear the thing where it's like, if you jerk off, you'll grow hair on your palm or whatever? Isn't that a thing? Yeah, no. totally. Totally. That was a, like a, a big like. <laughs> it was a thing. <laughs> It was yeah, like I an abstinence thing that people would oh, tell no. kids, like, don't you masturbate or else you'll grow hair. I always, thought, I, know. I always thought it was kind of like a joke where yeah. it was like, you tell someone that and that's why I did it. It's like yeah. the first thing they do is like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of, yeah. That's funny. But I don't know. I never, I don't think I ever really heard that from like a teacher or anything. Oh yeah. No, but our teachers avoided talking about jerking off unless it was the health teacher. They jerked us off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no. Or the gym teacher. <laughs> Did y'all ever have any uh, teachers uh, get in trouble for uh, inappropriate <laughs> student teacher conduct? We had two. Oh, yeah, I, we had some for sure. I wasn't there at the time. This came out so much later, but yeah. the guy that taught us like typing uh, had like cornered a 13 year old and like this came out like way later oh my god and like now that i think back i'm like he was creepy but not to me but just like in a creep like he yeah he was teaching you to type like this yeah, <laughs> yeah he was like, no, was like you them. use these two them. fingers now you want to find home base on your keyboard <laughs> it, was like, it was weird and we had weird teachers but he was weird yeah yeah Definitely. We had a theater teacher who was a creepazoid. I mean, just like the kind of, <laughs> you know, like that kind of oh, weird no. creep. And uh, the theater, um, I guess, cl- I had a friend that was in theater. They uh, all had one of those lock-ins where you stay at school overnight. They were using his computer to mm-hmm. like play games and stuff. And they found this folder where he had written erotic novels about him and the students. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Ew. I know. Whoa. That's like even worse than act. Yeah. No, it's not even worse than acting on it, but it's pretty, <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking pretty bad. bad. He thought about it in detail. In detail, yeah. 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 We had a, a biology teacher who Ooh. like um, would give like, girls massages oh god and well here's the bad part about it is like i remember sitting in class and like he we never gave you all one? the no of course not because he didn't give it to guys yeah but like we would all everyone i knew yeah all of my friends we were all like this is fucking creepy as fuck that is mm-hmm. fucking creepy and yet we'd just be sitting in class working on our worksheet or whatever and then some girl would walk in and be like mr I oh. fuck. <laughs> I'll bleep it. Okay, please bleep it. Please bleep it. <laughs> Although maybe not. Like yeah. it, this deserves the. Ah, yeah, I think he did get in trouble, but yeah. it's like they'd be like, mm, "Mr. Teacher, can you please give me a massage? I'm so stressed out. Can we take a and break so I would. can jerk off?" <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and we'd be like, "He like he'd literally be teaching a lecture, and there'd be a girl sitting in the in the like stool, yeah. in front of him, and he'd be like." Yeah, oh, that's so weird. And that's uh, so pff. fucking weird. No, that is really creepy. It, it was like hard for us to be like, "This is wrong," because like I, it, it was never like, oh, well, there were a couple occasions he would like try and do it with like a girl or something in our class, and, and yeah. like, she would be like, "No, no." But there was also mm-hmm. most of what I remember were girls walking into class asking him for a massage. Yeah. And I was like, and I'm not blaming them. I'm just like, I, it's totally inappropriate behavior, but yeah. it's just like, what the fuck? It sounds like he had magic hands. 
<laughs> he probably oh was God. pretty good. He got a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think That's that, crazy. Um, it's kind of sad. Like, I feel like when I have kids, I really want to like teach them to question authority. Yes. And but I think that like parents are sometimes like have an ego and they don't want their kids to question them mm-hmm. because it's like once you like if you were gonna teach your kid to question authority, then they're gonna question you. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I remember like being at a friend's house and like their kids were like you can't do this you can't and at first i was like that's so annoying and i thought about it later and i'm like actually no it's not right like it's cool that they can speak up and be like yeah oh that's not right like you can't do that and they can have an actual discussion about it other than being like no fucking shut up and eat your food and stop talking which is what i (laughs) Like my parents did with me. They're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's better than I'll whip your ass. Yeah, my parents. totally. <laughs> yeah. Man. Sorry, I went That's serious. Wild. No, no, no. We all went. We were talking about, yeah. uh, you know, uh, teachers molesting students. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I feel like those serious. kids couldn't be like, you and other people can't be like, oh, this is wrong. Because You're it's not like, taught to question authority. You're it, it, taught exactly. that that person knows better than you as the student. And so, therefore, there can't be anything wrong with what they're doing because yeah. they're the teacher. Well, yeah. we absolutely, I mean, did question his authority. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, we all knew and talked about it. Like, that's pretty fucking creepy. We told mm-hmm. our parents parents like oh, yeah. okay, cool, like people cool, knew good. yeah but it like didn't stop happening yeah mm-hmm. because it was all like i, I don't know it, it i don't know exactly what happened but it was yeah. it was very weird and it's like i guess we didn't really feel like we had any power to stop it but we just knew it was like this is fucking weird now was there ever a teacher for any of you guys that you wanted to hook up with that you were <laughs> had a crush on and sure sure <laughs> yep yep yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the, these are one this is like one of the clips that will come out like 10 years yeah. later <laughs> is there like, any teachers you would have allowed to get away with it <laughs> <laughs> oh man um i'll assume the answer is no <laughs> <laughs> the news quickly got around and other students, especially older ones, started jacking off too. No, I'm just joking. Uh, are shocked at this behavior. The teachers also, we are perturbed, perturbed. I like that word. We are perturbed. Uh, and we are all calling for the expulsion of this student. However, the principal claimed that he checked with legal counsel and with the Ministry of Education that because there is no severe psychological damage, he cannot expel the student, but only give him a punishment before expulsion, meaning a punishment. And the next time he acts out, he will be expelled. The system is weird and would need more explaining. The student will not be expelled and will probably return next Monday. All the teachers stand by me, support me and call for expulsion, or at least to write the ministry and suggest a change of the regulation our school follows. So this is what I was saying. It's like, I don't think that the kids should get away with jerking off in class. I don't think that teachers should have to teach a class where a kid is jerking off. But I'm also like, for a kid that, that that's that young, they're too young to, they wouldn't even go to jail. They would go to juvie because it's, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're considered minors. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I don't think that you can't, I think it would hurt the kid more to expel him than it would to punish him and make well, sure that it certainly would again. give him maximum jerk off time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, right. That's his yeah. dream. Yeah. 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 Go I stay at home. The yeah. wrong lesson. Right. It's like, I guess if I do this, I get my own. I get a jerk Eventually, off all day. He's right. like in <laughs> solitary <laughs> confinement and he's right. like, this is perfect. Right. Yeah. He gets a Thanks. State. Yeah, he gets a job at a call center. He starts jerking off there. He's like, I guess this will get, <laughs> they'll send me home. <laughs> he gets a job as a uh, training specialist at a call center. <laughs> yeah, just any time. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, man. I mean, this, guy, this kid's going to be flunking school and sp- Bunkin' loads. He's gonna be sp- oh, no. spunkin' schools. <laughs> spunkin' school after school. Um, I teach this class next Wednesday. What I want to ask is, does anyone have any advice with what to do? Kill him. St- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the student claims he did not do anything and his parents blindly believe him, especially his mother, but after an interview with the principal and the social worker, they found a lot of lies in her and her son's story. There has also been internet mm-hmm. bullying. He threatened his classmates not to say anything, so he might have have his final punishment and be expelled. Well, you know, and I agree that if it's multiple, like if this happens over and over, you have to expel the kid. You can't keep the kid in school because every time you send him to school, he's going to be jerking off in front of these teachers. And that's not fair to the teachers at all. Right. Yeah. Or find just the most disgusting image that you can think of that will immediately squash his boner. 
and yeah, forcing. turn these right. kids off. Right. Turn them off. Turn them right. off. <laughs> right, right. Why are you wearing heels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kind of curious to see what the teacher looks like. No. Yeah, yeah. Byron, <laughs> Byron just become, and what was no. the teacher wearing? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> we know you hate women. You know, you don't need, uh... Just try to make it more clear. <laughs> I, think, I think the title of the episode is Byron hates women. No. Yes. no. No, no, we can't yes. do that. You threaten no, this every as, time. Yeah, every time we say we're going to name it like Byron bangs babies and all kinds yeah. of stuff. By- Byron hates women but loves kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's worse. <laughs> oh man, I what, think what the two women to? at the table should <laughs> <laughs> make this decision. Name the episode, um, Josh. Yeah, <laughs> you produce, right? Yeah, you're on my. I'm on, under yeah. the table. Under the table. <laughs> Stop mass <laughs> right. reading under the table, you guys. Um, I kind of want to see what the comments comments are absolutely oh yeah um, that's great for the same but you haven't i already yet, read so, i already yeah. read the top comment kill him no i'm just joking <laughs> i think she should just get you know those squirt bottles that you use to like <gasps> keep cats off of furniture yes just like, stop, stop, stop. yes yeah. but put like alcohol in it or and he's something. like i love it when i'm wet he's oh. like catching it and using it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The top comment is refuse to teach with him in your room, um, mm. which, again, it's like, I don't know if it keeps going, then, yeah, I agree. Like, if if they, if they don't expel him after the second time this happens, I agree. But the first time it happens, the one time, I don't know. I don't know if the kid is. I don't I don't know. I don't know the exact situation. Yeah, I it's hard to say because it's like, I don't like if the, like if the article is trying to make it out as if like this is that kind of like bad goth kid or whatever that's like dark He's and goth? antisocial. Oh, I don't God. know. This Stop is, making him sound hot. This is just kind of the picture <laughs> in my brain. But Byron brain. is fantasizing right now. <laughs> Continue. They're no. making him sound like he's like a twink and he's got like a tight bod. <laughs> <laughs> and like... Uh, uh, it, this could be like a kid that's like got mental issues and yes. like mm-hmm. just is very antisocial, doesn't know. Yeah. It thinks he's being fu- like, th- it's very common for like a guy to think this, not this specific thing, but like I could see a guy or a boy thinking this is funny mm-hmm. and like trying to get friends or people to laugh at him because he mm-hmm. thinks that's fun. <laughs> right. He thinks it's funny. Right. And not understanding that it's not. Yeah. And then you refuse to teach with them in your room. I don't know. It just it's right. very that's very dramatic approach. I would say you need a little more grace. I think yeah. to be a teacher, they should just bring back Scarlet Stray and just like yeah. I think yeah. they should send him to the no, Chokey, like, like the, Matilda. the Chokey. Yeah, yeah, the Chokey. Maybe but he might like that. Like too. in Matilda, you that's know, the, it's like the little thing with oh. the spikes in the box where she mm. she has the Trunchbull has in her office. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I think that like also the. Oh man, I want to get into this, but it's also like so weird. Like, okay, n- nature versus nurture, right? Like, he's at home with parents all the time that don't seem like very supportive, or like he's mm-hmm. following their like their he example. learned he learned that like he learned like oh women shouldn't play sports from home. Yeah, yeah, from somewhere. Yeah. So it's Probably like Andrew if you Tate. don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sound, I was Alpha. thinking like, when yeah. he said that, I was like, yeah. it sounds like this kid's like, <laughs> sounds like this tape. video I just open, I start every yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like the video yeah. I start Sounds like my alarm ring. Women suck. <laughs> like, well, I'm going to start my day. Yeah. <laughs> um, or he's like learning from uh, like online stuff and mm-hmm. things yeah. like that. So it's kind of like, I don't know, how do you. Like you can't just like change this kid in in a week or mm-hmm. a month or a day or you know like it's just gonna take some time and the, it sounds like a social worker is involved so obviously there's like a yeah. case open with this kid already he has issues I don't know it's just it's sad it's just sad to me I think the best thing you could do for these like for a student who uh, not just masturbating in class but is like struggling in school just Chop in their general dips off. or yes exactly no yeah. <laughs> it's struggling <laughs> or just struggling in general with like behavioral issues mm-hmm. any of that what I learned while teaching was that school actually was the best place for them to escape that pattern of behavior yeah. and all of those yeah. students and when they have like 
like rough home lives where they're, mm-hmm. you know, not getting the lessons that they need at home to be mm-hmm. able to socialize out, outside of home. Mm-hmm. The best thing you could do is have like breakfast at school, have like after school programs, yeah. have like get them away from that situation so that they're in a nurturing environment. And mm-hmm. so kicking them out of school usually just keeps that cycle going and going and going. Forever. Yeah, 100%. I agree. So. And but frankly, it's, it's hard because you don't want to tell a like a teacher, like especially like if this was Lauren and she was teaching a class. Oh, I don't want to say this was Lauren and she was masturbating. In class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't you see it? Lauren? Yeah. You know, okay. yeah. I'm like, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she, if she was teaching that class, you wouldn't want her to. Right. I don't yeah. want her to have to be subjected to like people jerking off like all right. the time. Like I, I get, well, I would I get just that. use the same policy. If you have your cell phone out in class, I take it away. If you have your dick out in class, I take it away. <laughs> take it away. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, that I couldn't be a teacher for this reason. It's just like, I feel like I would empathize too much with kids and just be like, I just, I would like want to help this kid out. And I feel like that would, you'd yeah. want him to come to completion. I would no. <laughs> oh. And here's the thing, <laughs> but you know, like, actually I, that yeah. would make you a good teacher to be honest. <laughs> no. because it, no, it's it's no, no. well because you actually are see like you see uh you see potential in that student regardless yeah. of mm-hmm. their behavior. Oh, okay. Whereas this teacher says this kid has uh, is empty and void of potential. Right. Get him away from me. And who's gonna take like who's gonna take up that responsibility for that kid? Probably nobody. Right. Exactly. The, the mere fact you said like I would have I feel like I'd have more empathy for the kid is like yeah maybe you should be a teacher soon yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and like get I have, ready to watch yeah, a lot of kids yeah. jerk it off <laughs> hope you like it i'll um, save them one <laughs> masturbation at a time i don't know well and and here's the thing like i was i was very much like that too mm-hmm. and jerk off a lot in class no <laughs> but like i i would feel my classes were pretty wild mm-hmm. but i never sent a kid to the principal's office mm-hmm. only yes. one time i did yep mm-hmm. and I, was that the kid who ate the nail? No, that wasn't the kid that ate the nail. <laughs> oh, there's a kid that uh, ate a nail. <laughs> and I, uh, I don't think he actually staple. did. It's a longer story, but like he, he said he did mm. swallow like a little pin. Yeah. You're like, now we wait. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, yeah, <laughs> but like, I, 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 and I, I was really good at the relational aspect mm-hmm. of it, and um, I still have students to this day. I taught two years. Still have students to this day reach out to me. Yeah, over LinkedIn or something or whatever. Like, oh man, I really loved your class. You taught me how to handshake. All this yeah. stuff. Aww. Like, yeah, and it's it's very it's very satisfying. I, mm-hmm. I at some point I might go back, but yeah. mm-hmm. I don't want to right now. But yeah. you have students mm-hmm. reaching out to you, be like, I've never come harder than I did in your class. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me jerk off. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the space I needed. <laughs> yeah. I figured out who I am and what I liked. Here's a couple more comments, just rapid fire here. Where I am in Canada, if a teenage student breaks any kind of law in school, violence, drugs, and sexual harassment, the police can be involved. Is this a possibility for you? And keep in mind, this student is underage. So uh, that doesn't necessarily count for a student that's un- underage when they mm-hmm. break the law. That is kind of how the school works um uh, but i mean kids can go to juvie for things in school one of my best friends growing up he uh put a a fake pipe bomb in one of the bathrooms he literally it was a piece of pvc pipe he wrote this is a bomb and he wrote b-o-m that's how he spelled bomb (laughs) and the the school administrators were so stupid that (laughs) they they looked at that that this is a real bomb i mean but they do kind of have to take it as like they they have to take it seriously so we had the bomb squad come to our school the whole day we spent outside because it was like the fire alarms went off we all (laughs) evacuated the school bomb squad comes investigates you know it's just like a little piece of pvc pipe and when I asked him, I, I didn't find out. We became friends like two years later. And I just was in a conversation with him. He was like, yeah, remember when we all were like outside and that kid put a bomb in the school? He's like, yeah, that was me. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, and, no. Yeah. He also jerked off a lot at school. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> oh, no. This, he turned out to be quite a little pervert. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, this reminds me of the John Mulaney joke where he goes into his friend's like secret room and it's like all of the pictures that his friend has stolen from parties. Have you guys... Do you guys remember oh, that? That sounds familiar. And he was like, why? And he's like, because it's the one thing you can't replace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like... <laughs> That's hilarious. Diabolical. Ugh. 
This person says, so when I was a student in high school some 15 years ago, we had a similar situation. This was a predominantly middle-class high school uh, near some affluent neighborhoods, so we didn't have a lot of issues most places have. Um, (laughs) Yeah, that's a great way of wording that, I guess. They didn't want to say, yeah, um, our school was mostly white, so we didn't have a lot of these issues. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's what's being said. Uh, (laughs) One one kid was notoriously weird, though, saying homophobic remarks in class discussion once— Idolizing Indiana Jones and just being a weirdo. What's wrong with Indiana Jones? What are the? Why are those two also, things? Well, also, also he said he said homophobic remarks in yeah. class once. Yeah, once. But what is wrong with idolizing Indiana Jones? I don't remember the Indiana Jones film where he was like lassoing fucking gay people. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I don't remember the, the homophobic. This could have described like any stand-up comedian in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> said a homophobic remark once. Idolized Indiana Jones <laughs> and has just be, been a weirdo. Well, he was caught masturbating in class once and the word spread around, but even back then, as far as I know, nothing significant happened to him. He still kept coming to school, still dressed as Indiana Jones in <laughs> the occasion he could get. Why Indiana Jones? Everyone just knew to avoid him. I wonder where that kid is now. This person goes, homophobic remarks, masturbation in class, idolizing Indiana Jones. One of these things is not <laughs> like the others. <laughs> it really is. What what in the world? Okay. Um, uh, let's move on here. Uh, also, have- like, let's not to play like devil's advocate, but like that person could just be a bully. And it's, she's like, she said he was heard to, it yeah. could be a rumor. Yeah. Like, yeah these yeah. are high. Like this is high school. How yes. many rumors of bullshit like that did you hear? Oh right. yeah. yeah. Like totally all the time. It could it, like that comment could literally, that guy could literally have just been obsessed with Indiana Jones and dressed mm-hmm. up with him a little bit. And people thought he was weird and they made fun of him. Yeah. Then, it's not like that was me. Rumors, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, rumors are awful in school like that, and especially like high school. Like those rumors can be really, really dangerous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I was a student teacher, so I was going to be a teacher, and I was training to be a teacher. I was um, one of the student teachers for the high school band. And I've, I, this is another one I've told in the podcast, a very early podcast. Um, but um, so we all went on a trip to, I think it was Galveston, a band trip to Galveston. Mm-hmm. And I'm one of the chaperones because mm-hmm. I'm a student teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, we get back from the trip and um, I get called into the office of the band director. And the band director tells me, hey, there's been this rumor going around that um, this uh, one of our students and you were in the ocean at Galveston and she was jerking you off. That was like she gave you a hand job in the ocean. What? Now, here, listen to this. They and go, she was dressed as Indiana Jones. Too, <laughs> that's the worst part. Too salty. And so they and so I, I'm like, what? And they go, first of all, just so you know, we know that this isn't true. It's just that this girl has an the girl who started the rumor has an issue with the girl who the rumor is about. They've had a long going issue where they always start start drama and start rumors about each other. So we wanted to let you know first that this was something that was going around and that we're taking it seriously. And we know that you didn't do anything. And then you beat the shit out of her. Oh, I should have. Absolutely. Because I could lose not only my job then, but right. any job I'm ever going to get ever again. Like, totally. That's the worst possible thing you could start a rumor about. Yeah, absolutely. But but she did jerk me off so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Okay, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um the teacher did or the band director, he was like, I'm so sorry that you know they started this rumor. It's really gotten out of hand. And he goes, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> 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 You're just crying. I know. Like. <laughs> I was so panicked. They told yeah. me that, and my heart just starts beating. I'm like, I didn't do anything. Yeah. And they're like, No, yeah. we know. We know you didn't do it. They're like, We were with you the whole time. Like, we know that you. you there's know, no time you would have been we, we had know. to go get jerked off in the ocean. It wasn't. Right. We know you didn't do anything. It's just your life is about to be ruined. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 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 You're about to be canceled <laughs> by not doing anything. Exactly. Yeah. But it's crazy how the like one rumor like that can ruin in somebody's life yeah. that's that's horrifying I, before we move on i know we want to i think i i wanted to say like it's just it sucks that we can't talk to kids like they're adults yes like we have to be like you did this thing and you shouldn't have done it whereas yes. like i feel like the more times i've just talked to like my boyfriend's nephews like they were like i'm like hey you doing this made me feel this way mm-hmm. and that's why i reacted like this mm-hmm. so like I just want you to know that 
for next time because I don't want to feel like that again. Right. And like the next day, like he was asking my boyfriend, like, where's Suze? Can we hang out? Like, yep. you know, like it's just like mutual respect goes such a long way with kids. Absolutely. Like they just they, that's something that they can also sense is like, oh, does this person respect me? Which is probably why a lot of your students reach out to you and they're like, yeah. you I learned so much from you because it's just like and they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no they, they, they really right. didn't but yeah. they mm-hmm. did i was good at like the relational side which mm-hmm. is the most important part in teaching yeah yes. exactly so i feel like this teacher needs to like learn a little bit of that of just like how can yeah. i yeah, yeah talk to yeah. talk yeah. to a student without talking to them like a little kid yeah uh, that's very you're correct that is very you, you would Maybe make a good sacri- teacher so yeah. <laughs> probably yeah. would be a good sacrifice teacher. it's a, a big part of teaching is like sacrificing your comfort and yeah. your mental health in a lot of ways yes. mm-hmm. in order to benefit the next generation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know if you're like too scared to teach because, <laughs> because right. some kid's going to jerk off or whatever, then maybe you shouldn't be a teacher. Not saying yeah. that happens all the time and not saying you should like, have to deal with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. But it's like, exactly. but it's, if it one occasion and you just write that kid off, I think that's, I don't, well, what's going to happen because she was a first year teacher. So what's going to mm-hmm. happen is the next year, another kid's going to do it. She's going to go, what is this? Right. <laughs> and then the third yeah. year it happens. You go, Oh, this happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess this happens. Mm-hmm. It's like, also the more the bigger deal you make of something, the mm-hmm. more it's going to happen. Oh yeah, that's why. Like, especially with kids, yeah. the last thing you want to do is say, "Don't do this." It's like telling an improviser, "Don't do this <laughs> yeah. in this scene." <laughs> yeah. You're gonna do that, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, totally. Like Miss Henry freaks out when you masturbate. In the class. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah <dude. laughs> it's so crazy. It's funny, man. Yeah, uh-huh. that's why I never send kids to the principal's office because it's yeah. like there are certainly occasions I could have, but yeah. it's like yeah, that doesn't look good on you as a teacher because then the students yeah. know that like you can't handle it on your own. Yeah, you got to get totally. the admin involved. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. like. They respect you much more if you just deal with it and keep going. Mm. Yep. That's um, right. Mm-hmm. That is true. I yeah. one time had this. I'm so sorry. I no, one time don't. was in this, like, I used to get extra help uh, for math. And um, this poor teacher, I felt so bad for him. But, like, no one really took him seriously. He's very sto- soft-spoken. Mm-hmm. And this kid who was such a trouble kid. Like, he, one time I asked to, like, see his ankle monitor. I'm like, can I see your... <laughs> your ankle monitor like that's so crazy like i've never seen someone on house arrest before like um but he goes mr henry are you gay oh my god (laughs) and this guy's face turned so right he actually looked like you it was kind of (laughs) crazy what (laughs) and his face was so you're gonna take that out. Of You're gonna cut that. Out. She's like, and it turned out he was very gay. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, it was just such a like you. You was I feel so bad because you have to like give so much of yourself as a yeah. You have nothing to yourself. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Like, Those kids, well, especially the younger they are, too. When the like the certain young kids always want to ask you, do you are, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Are you married? Why not? Why don't you have one? <laughs> oh, you broke up. Why? Why? What did you do wrong? <laughs> they always they're just the most personal questions they could ask. They'll ask you for uh, sure. And they'll what? also Google you and find everything about you. They too. found everything about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of the like comedy stuff you've done. Improv and everything. shows. Yeah. Like they, and yep. they would like quote them to me. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, Please. Yep. Don't yep. show your parents this. Exactly. That exactly. sounds like torture to have your improv <laughs> shows. They were good shows. Back to oh my Every God. show that they watch, I was like, I'm proud of this show. I can't believe they quoted them. That's so. <laughs> I would be. I would be like, shh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. They would watch it in class because I yeah. had a lab. Yeah, yeah, I had a computer lab in my class. <laughs> so they would like yeah. open up like a YouTube video of one of my teams or something. Oh I'd be like, turn that off, dude. <laughs> they like raise their hand. You're like, yes, M- Malcolm. And he's like, hey, great rape joke at that show. Oh my <laughs> you're god. Like, you're like, oh no. <laughs> it's the worst possible thing <laughs> a student can. Uh, All right, let's move on here. We got some more things. And, uh, you know, it's a really crass episode of Working Crass Podcast. That is why we call it Working Crass, because we're working as crass as we can today. Oh, my God. This story is from Confessions (laughs) um, on Reddit. This person says, first time using a pocket pussy, hyperventilation experience.
audience. Oh my god! I just realized I have not been sharing my sc- or recording my screen here, so I'll have to do some editing. Anyway, um, uh, backstory: twenty four male, never had sex before. I have gotten a blowjob in my early years of college. Humble brag. <laughs> recently, <Yeah. laughs> he, he said that with his finger pointed up. Yeah, I, I have. I have gotten a blowy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wow. <laughs> Recently, I've uh, been more horny since turning 24, and the thought of a, of a pocket pussy, a thought I've had of getting since I was younger, turned to reality. <laughs> it's like ever since I was eight years old, I've been asking Santa Claus for a pocket I, pussy. I know that's <laughs> the vibe. It's so <laughs> rose. I'm sorry. This, this person is living their dream. <laughs> You're right. Who am I to judge? <laughs> <laughs> well, my first time ever using it was very intense. I lubed up and went to the bathroom, and then I went to work on it. <laughs> That's such a nasty yeah. way of describing yeah. it. Uh. And then I went to work on it, and you could just like picture the sweat beating on his like forehead. There's like construction down. sounds. <laughs> 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 Uh, I maybe had it in for 10 seconds and I had the most intense orgasm that I had pissed instead. (laughs) Hindsight, I should have went to the restroom beforehand, but yes, this was my first orgasm that intense. I've never had an orgasm so intense I pissed. I thought that that was more of a female Female thing thing, than a male thing. Because you... (laughs) Because your vast deferens, your like your your tubes don't your P tube is separate from your cum tube, and whenever you what? are aroused, the it P-tube switches. The P tube is separate from the cum tube. <laughs> the cum. <laughs> the cum tube is separate from the P tube. Yeah, I, this is your new song for BJ party. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new teaching song. <laughs> that, that's, All right, that's, kids, yeah, here we go. That's literally. from Texas Sex Education. Hey, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> but so as a, as a male, you're not supposed to be able to pee when you come that because it's two different tubes and if you pee too soon after you come and stuff it'll cause so, it to sting and hurt and yeah oh, you'll pee all over the place all, you've yeah. experienced that yeah okay. for sure that's all about the only one yep that's correct what was that motion you just made it kind of goes everywhere <laughs> kind of like the yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but because oh. you have you're you're kind of blocked in certain yeah. areas so the pee just kind of sprays it's real hard to pee and you yeah. might have a little boner residual yeah. boner yeah a yep. resi boner. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Friends of Benefits with Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis, but I she have he, seen that actually. He tries to pee after he comes, and it's like, psh, psh, <laughs> psh. yeah, <laughs> like, yep. it, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. weird. You always gotta either go before or you gotta wait like an hour, mm-hmm. wait until after. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So that I don't, I don't believe that this is true. I don't know. This is a very strange. I, I don't know. I don't know. He just felt like he was peeing. I don't know about men, but sometimes women, like, if you have to pee and you masturbate, it sometimes gives you a more intense orgasm. Yeah. Or you feel like you're going to pee and then you just let it go and you're like, I squared it. I have never done that in my life. <laughs> or he, he just peed. Someone hasn't read all the Cosmopolitan magazines yeah, exactly. that I've read. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. I missed a few articles. What were you saying, Lauren? Uh, or he just peed himself in anticipation. Like he got so excited about using his his dream <laughs> toy. Right. Could have been excitement. Yeah. I pissed his little pants. Have you guys ever been shot up with iodine? No. Like when you have to get like an MRI? Oh, you have. Uh, did you feel like you had to pee? I, was, I don't know if it was iodine, but it was a dye that it's they had to... Did you get and they like couldn't a, they couldn't get it into my veins. Yeah. They kept... What? It would not... For whatever reason, it wouldn't go in. So she had to do it like five different times. Like tried Ooh. five different times. She came I home looking like a heroin <laughs> addict. Like I just had like all this <laughs> shit all over her arms. <laughs> yeah. Um, they told me. They're like, it's going to... hurt like hell when they can't get it into your vein too. Because oh. it like bubbles up under yeah. your skin oh. it just like has nowhere to go um but they tell you you're gonna feel like you're gonna pee uh-huh. and i was like okay sure and then i was like i'm about to pee right now yeah, yeah. like while yeah. i was getting it done i was like Ugh. i'm gonna pee my pants yeah and they're like you're not i'm like no <laughs> i really I, feel I, like i am, I, am. Yeah. I feel like it's coming out right now it yeah. feels like that and uh-huh. i didn't pee myself did you feel that way no. No. Can no. you imagine that's what they have to deal with every single day? I'm yeah. peeing myself. No, yeah, sir. Peeing. Calm down, please. And to have the confidence to know they're not. There's got to be at yeah. least one person that does pee. Yeah. And you're, and yeah. you're like, oh, I guess. Uh. <laughs> no, did not did not feel like I had to pee. Mostly I was just feeling pain in all of the pokes on my arms mm. that yeah. she had to bandage. 
Well, this guy says his eyes went blurry. He was profusely sweating. He had ringing in his ear, nauseous for a minute only. And then he had an extreme thirst once he realized that he should sit before potentially passing out. But you know, guys, it do be like that when you nutting. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds normal. You know, Aww. that do be like what but nutting read be like. the next thing because it's kind of sad. That's my story. And I have to admit, it's a little sad. I experienced all of this with a pocket pussy rather than a real girl. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait i'm sorry he had this experience and then he's sad that he didn't pass out and piss himself with a real girl this is like the kind of thing that you do want to get out of the way before you're with somebody yeah. right right yeah well also you're never gonna like your uh, i don't know my vagina doesn't fucking vibrate on your <laughs> my boyfriend's dick like you're not gonna have a this kind of experience with a girl vagina i'm sorry <laughs> No, 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 Suze. Pocket pussies don't vibrate. He didn't specify vibrate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Pussy. What does yeah. it do? Does it's it like suck just like on a, your dick? No, of, it's, it's just, just like exists. a... exists. Yeah, just like as a thing that you hold in you. No, like a it does something. Like a well, you're you thinking of... A a, uh, they have they have those uh, suck machines. So they have where a pocket pussy is attached to a machine. I forget what they call They call them like a blow, a blow go or something like that. Oh, okay. And then it's literally one of those attached to it and then it does no, it for you. I need to you. do my research. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. No, 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 that's okay. Um, I feel like a pocket Just come over to our place later. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. I got one up in the hatchery. I'll show you my collection. <laughs> the hatchery. It's got a couple spiders in it, but they'll give you the pleasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, however, I'm really concerned I'll potentially pee inside of a girl or even pass out when it's time for the real thing. Because when I peed during the orgasm, it kind of took me by surprise. Mm. I think he almost passed out because you're not supposed to pee. Like, he had something wrong happened with his dick yeah yeah something bad happened yeah yeah maybe like a curse he had mm. some kind of curse I'm he's been cursed and yeah. it and it lifted when he uh was gonna come and then he peed all over himself oh i'm mistaken i'm so sorry the pocket pussy is a sex toy for men that replicates intercourse with a woman it looks so it yeah you're right it's just a silicone silicone yeah like i'm sorry i apologize i'm not proud that i'm right Suze, but i am <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I really thought, because, like, I don't know, that's, like, so intense. Like, you would think yeah. that he... It sounds like something that fucked him. Yeah. Fucked the piss out of him. <laughs> the literal piss out of him. I'm so sorry. I interrupted, by the way. What were you, what were you saying? I don't remember. You but, were saying man. that he was cursed. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that the reason why he felt like he was going to pass out and all this stuff is because of, is connected to this peeing when he came kind of thing, because that's not supposed to happen. I've almost but, passed out before. Yeah. I'm not it, even going to lie. Yeah? From a yeah. pocket pussy? No. From, from like, <laughs> sex. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I mean, if wow. you're fucking going on, man. <laughs> <laughs> get a little oh tired. God. I definitely get thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I get thirsty too. I feel you. That just makes I'm me thirsty. Fucking <laughs> that is ridiculous. I have a thing where it's like, are you holding your breath? No. Well, maybe a little bit. Sometimes some exercises, some positions, you gotta be planking yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's but it's also like. I have this thing, Look, and this is hey, bad. hey. I'm with you. Dicking down these ladies is exhausting. <laughs> I know, man. Um, They're not really trying that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're saying this. <laughs> um, you're right. I've never came. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I have this thing where I'll like laugh sometimes because mm. I'm just in such like a um, euphoric. Yeah. Aww. yeah. Not ever by myself, but like when I'm with a girl sometimes. Because yeah. you're, 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 de you're delirious from all the dehydration. Can, I yeah. can't. Yeah. Start well, it, it's, it's, I'm able to play it off usually, yeah. but mm -hmm. some, but I have had a few. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's <laughs> like <laughs> kind of uncontrollable. Yeah. Is it, is it? <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. It's a, it's a. If you've ever heard me like really uncontrollably laugh, it's like like that, the honk which, laugh. Um, no, it's no. not like the honk laugh because no. I do that sometimes too. But it's no. not like that. Is it? Uh, no. Uh, no. It's. Uh, it's. Do you remember? Yeah, Dallas. Yes. Yes. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. No, I. But it. But I always have to be like, no, it's not you. I just like feel so good yeah is it yeah. this 
I'm sorry. <laughs> a little bit. That kind of sounds like when I eat like some good food. I go. <laughs> That sound effect mm-hmm. is called Uncle Nick for some reason. <laughs> I don't Uncle know Nick. why. <laughs> wow. But um, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a funny thing. Yeah. 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 It's sweet. At least it's not creepy, you know, like I yeah. kill a woman. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Would you think that yeah. I do that? <laughs> At least it's not what we think you do to women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, this guy says, now it's a few hours later. I tried it for a second time and it was flawless with no problems. Oh, <laughs> My body is very weird and sensitive, but I'm hoping for no health problems above all. I think it was important for me to experience that. And then the second time have a perfectly good orgasm. Thank you for the comments as, uh, as well. Some are funny, but today has just been a crazy day that I hope to never forget. <laughs> because he's going to use that to feel his next session. This just yeah. sounds like a 16-year-old writing this, but he's 24. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's get, get, Yeah, get your heart checked <laughs> out. You should handle it. Yeah. yeah. If that's happening from nothing, you should get your blood pressure checked. <laughs> Onk. Onk. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brother in Christ. <laughs> uh, Wait, keep going down. I want to see more. Keep going with more. Uh, you sound like you experience uh, syncope. Syncope? Syncope? Due to orgasm. It happens when you get too used to masturbating or uh, while sitting or laying down if you're out of shape. Basically, get it's like that vertigo shit. stuff. It's like mm. that vertigo sensation. Maybe. Or you get like really yeah, headed see, and dizzy. This person yeah. says you can't yeah, pee you and can't come pee at the same time. Come at the same time. This person says it sounds like a challenge I accept. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's. Oh, you squirted. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. I said, good morning, how are you? And you hit me with this. <laughs> yeah, these are funny. Yeah. Um, I feel like they're trolling him more than Definitely. <laughs> actually being helpful. Yeah. Look, just uh, like I said, nothing do be like that sometimes. How 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 long ago is this? This was posted three days ago. Oh. This guy came so recently. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I hope that he's had sex with a girl now. But no, it's <laughs> been three days. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. The next story is... Wow. Okay. So these all have a theme, don't they? Oh, yeah. No, we went yeah. extra crass for this episode. I like we that. Knew, <laughs> um, <laughs> that I was going to be on it. We knew that you'd, yeah. go there. You knew, we knew you'd go there with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Saku didn't want to talk about all this. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, cool. Well, this uh, before we move to the last story, we always uh, do a quick plug of uh, the things that are coming up. Um, so that being said... Um, I would like to plug something that Byron and I are doing. <gasps> um, we are going to be playing music at My Buddy's Bar. That's not My Buddy. It's a bar called My Buddies. Um, and we're going to be doing music Memorial Day weekend. Um, nice. So come check that out on uh, Sunday, the 26th of May. I've done it again. I've, I've gone and plugged something that's going to happen the day before this episode comes out. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Damn. If you're listening June? to this episode... Uh, uh, completely ignore what I just said, but I do think we have some something in June. We have on June thirtieth. We have the singer songwriter showcase. Oh, nice! June thirtieth is the stew at my mm-hmm. buddy's bar. What time is that? Five. Five. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, Sunday, June thirtieth at five p.m. at my buddy's bar in Chicago. Come check out some uh, singer songwriters. Um, I think I'll open up the show with some music. That is correct. And Byron will be headlining with some music as and well. And I'll oh. be in the back of the class whacking <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Suze, what about you? Do you have anything coming up? Um, I, this is already going to happen, I think. But Rise Mundelein, I got a stand-up show there. Nice. Um, it's a smoke lounge show. Ooh, so you basically cool. do um, jokes in front of stoners that just look at you while you tell jokes. <laughs> and they forget to laugh. And they're like, I'm always like, what's the coolest thing to know about Mundelein? 
Yeah. And no one says anything. <laughs> I'm like, okay, great. Awesome. One time someone was like, there's a really cool Target here. They just opened it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go steal from there after the show. Thank you. Um, but uh, yeah. And then um, I have some stuff in June. But my the most important thing is July. Yeah. Because July uh, 10th, I'm doing a live uh, podcast recording at Dorothy. Ooh. Um, and uh, then July 18th, um, my boyfriend and I are producing a show called Brown Cassette Comedy. Ooh. Um, and it's just featuring brown and black comedians in the scene. And so, yeah, check those out. Awesome. Check all of those out. Where can people find you? At Ball Out Comedy on Instagram. Sweet. Hell yeah. And I'll I'll, uh, tag it in the description and everything, too. Thank you. Appreciate it. So people can follow you and go, uh, uh, you know, ask you to become a teacher. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hey there, Crass Wipes. I just want to take a quick moment to tell you about the best way to support Lauren and I and all of Working Crass Podcast, and that is patreon.com slash work. Working Crass Pod. Uh, we are making some super funny bonus episodes every single week, um, putting them out there on Patreon. If you want to check them out, go ahead there, patreon.com slash working crass pod. We would really appreciate the support. It would uh, really, really help us out. If you're not convinced yet, here's a quick clip uh, of one of our latest episodes. This has nothing to do with an inclusivity issue and everything to do with this lady has just a personal discomfort with her own armpit hair. Right. And she's probably judged other women <laughs> for having armpit hair. And she's got hairy pits herself and feels yeah. weird about it. And it's a whole insecurity thing. There we and go. that's what it is. Now we know how to rev Lauren up. Just get her talking <laughs> shit about another woman. Women yeah. hate women. Women hate. If there's, if there's, if there's one any, thing I know. If there's anyone who's willing to exclude a woman, it's another woman. So if you like what you see, go head over to patreon.com slash working crass pod. We got a lot more of it over there. All right. Back to the episode. All right. Cool. Our last story here is that alpaca sex is even weirder than you think. Scientists have found evidence that male alpacas have sex by thrusting their penises all the way up to the female's uterus, a novelty among mammals. It's not that rare. Yeah. That sounds, <laughs> yeah I was going to say that sounds like sex to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at how handsome these alpacas look. These are all they got. They had to find pictures of alpacas that <laughs> yeah. just just nutted. They look like a boy band. They, they do. do. Yeah. <laughs> like that's Harry Styles. Yeah. And <laughs> the one on the far right is a fuck boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, they all have a <laughs> smile on their face. It's weird that we're like, what an attractive <laughs> pack of alpacas. Yeah. Hey. I would. <laughs> Smash or pass, go down the line. <laughs> I'll pack you. <ya. laughs> Just in case you'd like to know, that was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just in case you'd like to know, alpaca sex is weird, biologically speaking. In a recent paper, scientists have presented evidence that male alpacas impregnate their partners by thrusting their penises all the way up inside the female's uterus, a tactic not documented with any other mammal species to date. I'm confused. Don't all of us to Come to my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys, don't flatter yourselves that your, your penises are that big <laughs> that they can reach a uterus. I, I usually come directly in my wife's heart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I come so far up or she's spitting it out. <laughs> Jesus. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she spits it into my mouth and I come it back in her. <laughs> it's a just perpetual what if you motion crying machine. right now. <laughs> perpetual cum machine. Yeah. But I am. Oh man. The research was led by scientists from Mount Holyoke College or Holyoke College in Massachusetts. I don't know. I'm a man. I can't read. Holyoke. They also <laughs> worked with a researcher from the North American Camelid uh, Studies Program, part of the larger Ninoa Project. There's no way that that's the only species that does that. Right. I the, guess it's just really far up the puss. Also, and, sorry, go for it. <laughs> well, okay, this is going to clarify this. Insemination <laughs> all the way up the puss. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> caught that you said that. Uh, insemination for mammals typically happens deep in the vagina with the male... Yeah, you, you don't say. Uh, with the male <laughs> sperm having to make its way through the cervix and then to the uterus to reach the female's egg in the oviducts. Um, in humans, this location is better known as the fallopian tubes. The penis of some mammals, such as dogs and horses, can get very close to the cervix and basically shoot sperm straight through to the uterus. God, lucky. 
Even in these <laughs> animals, however, the penis seems to only penetrate the vagina. Hmm. But the alpacas have wieners so big that they reach all the way into <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the uh, what's it called? What are the uterus? uterus? The uterus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I forget the parts. <laughs> They have very long and thin penises. They can, sure they can reach the uterus, but can they find the G spot? <laughs> 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 can they find the mythical clitoris? Because <laughs> <laughs> I sure as hell can. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> the mythical, the mythical clitoris. I can't. I can't. Do you guys remember that um, Jackass episode where? St- Steve-O dresses up like a donkey. Yes. And then the donkey tries to fuck him. Yes. And you see the donkey's penis and it looks like a pencil. Yes, it does. It's disgusting. Is that the one where he drinks the donkey's cum afterwards too? No. Yeah, there's one where it's, maybe it's a horse and they like do the artificial insemination stuff and then they <sighs> take it and they drink some of the semen. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. They uh, did him so dirty. They oh, apparently yeah. did not pay him like anything and he just did all that for free. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. But now his name, I mean, when you see say when you say steve-o everybody knows who that is just like one day when you say enough. one day one day when you say byron everyone will know exactly who that is i saw it coming i saw that woman one. hater <laughs> yeah. it's my subtitle on wiki now byron brought yeah up- no oh go ahead uh i was gonna say just organically is like <laughs> This really reminds me of like another animal having sex. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What yeah, kind of animal? Banana slug sex. Oh, that's interesting. Let me look that up right now. Yeah. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most oh. organic as we could possibly. Now I know in the future to never do try to make something organic. <laughs> I was a little worried about it. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. So oh. Byron did tell us that banana slug sex is very uh, interesting as well. Here, it let me is. unmute so we can listen to oh. the sound. Sorry, Lauren. That's okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is okay. Traveling at a whopping max speed of 6.5 inches per minute, these two banana slugs followed pheromone filled slime trails. Did you okay, make this, this video. Yeah, this, this narrator is the guy that passed out coming. <laughs> I know, yeah. literally. Uh, so, when two slugs get together, sometimes they mate. Find <laughs> one another on this redwood forest floor. Yep. They size each other up with four retractable tentacles two for mm-hmm. sensing light, two for smell and feel. Their age-old mm. mating ritual then begins with a very unique foreplay. Oh, yeah. Lashing at each other from a tongue-like mm. structure that contains 27,000 <laughs> micro teeth apiece, what the, the act will help determine if this is a match made in mollusk heaven. This is no battle of the sexes, though, for these hermaphroditic slugs both... Maybe they were playing this in school because I would have jerked off to this in class. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this gets me going. <laughs> the, they have the, on the front of whatever... Is, I'm assuming that's their head in the front that they're moving around, and then they have a hole that turns into a uh, into like a nub, and then they start yeah. rubbing the nub on... For those of who I need the podcast <laughs> listeners to know what's happening, yeah. if they're not I, watching the video, I don't like how this is getting. This is like so close to my ears. <laughs> right now. The nub, the yeah, the hole becomes a nub. Then uh. they rub nubs. Let's see, and male and female organs. All told, this sadistic behavior leads to several hours of copulation and one giant bed of slime. Yep. Hey. You know, they, wow, that they, was my, erotic. my mating ritual ends with a giant bed of slime, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lauren. <laughs> um, Sounds they, like a lot of cleanup. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's apparently also videos of this um, where they, they like fall down from um, the trees oh, yeah. on their slime because oh. they're, these are crazy slugs. They're big. Yeah. And they'll like wrap around and twist around each other wow. while they're mating. Mm-hmm. And they're like both on their like they're hanging from their slime. Yeah. Do you ever see Crazy. like Oh my god. Yeah. Do you ever see like two dragonflies like doing it when you're just walking and you see like two like stuck together their flying butts. around? Yeah. 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 This is weird. Ugh. I wonder what it's like to just like fly around while you're fucking. <laughs> 
That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> you, usually when I watch the dragonflies, one of them is like running away. It's like yeah. trying to get it. Actually, pretty much all animal, anytime you turn on like animal channel, it's mm-hmm. almost exclusively rape. Like it just yeah. all seems there's one animal's running away and the other one catches them. And yeah. now I feel he bad gets for his cats. Treat. Oh yeah. Cats are like definitely. that. Ducks are like that too. Yeah. We had oh. ducks growing up. Yeah. They would oh, like pin them down. Oh, you have to down. watch that as a kid. Yeah. You're like, oh, the ducks are mating right now. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, no <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty. It's pretty, and we like the duck was like protected by our dog, and the dog would like chase off the male ducks, the mallards. Wow. And uh, but they still got her, and she had eggs. She yeah. had babies. The duck starts uh, laughing while he fucks. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> That's so cute that the dog protected her. Yeah. Not yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dog is like, those holes are mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm saving the duck for later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's been a very crass episode. We talked about all kinds of yeah. disgusting, crass shit, and um, uh, we always end the episode the same way every single time by going around and saying what we learned, okay? We're former <laughs> teachers. We have to have learned something today. Mm-hmm. Suze, is there anything that you learned today? Apacas can be kind of hot. They, um, yeah. I would, I would listen to like a boy band that literally looked just like D- that. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. Also, um, don't put up a portal because you're not going to like... <laughs> The other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Byron, what did you learn? Yeah. Uh, I learned that uh, Degrassi isn't about yards. <laughs> isn't about what? Yards. Yards? Yeah. Why Degrassi. did you think Degrassi was... Oh, oh. Wow, you put, put that together faster <laughs> than I did. Usually I have a hard time putting those together. <laughs> I was about grass. <laughs> a Canadian lawn. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I was okay. Sorry, <laughs> my, I kind of broke my brain there for a second. <laughs> Lauren, what did you learn today? Um, I learned that if you find a student masturbating in your class, that you should treat them the same way you would if you found your kid smoking a cigarette. You make him smoke the whole pack, so you make him stroke a hundred <laughs> times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Again! <laughs> One more time. <laughs> you think it's funny? Again! <laughs> You're not leaving this classroom till you've jerked a hundred cocks <laughs> <laughs> oh wow um uh, let's see you know i learned that you can actually pee when you come so now i have a new goal <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and i guess that's it uh thank you very much i think suits for joining us in this yeah, episode we really appreciate it, it. everyone go check fun. out sue's ball out um uh, she's a very very funny comedian and uh, you're not gonna be uh sorry if you if you check her out, you're not going to be, you're not going to be let down. She's <laughs> not going right. to let you down. All right. That was a horrible <laughs> plug. <laughs> um, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll see you guys next week and goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.